Okay, do you guys have a tech go backpack? You see, usually tech creators, we curate all of these items and we tell you, hey guys, this is what you need to buy. Today's video is a little bit different. Don't see if we're saying style. I wanna take you guys along on the journey and basically we're gonna see what product deserves to go inside my tech backpack and you guys can chime in as well. I feel like Thanos and we're kind of like basically assembling like the infinity stones. <laughs> so let's get started. Let's first start with the tech backpack. This is the Air Tech Pack 2, and it's been my backpack for several years now, but there's one main issue I had with it. It's just way too big, and it's heavy too. But there was one main thing that I needed this bag to absolutely do, be able to fit three devices. So I got to researching and I found that Air actually makes a smaller version called the Air Day Pack 2. So I reached out to Air and they were gracious enough to send this bag over to me. I was able to fit in my 16 inch MacBook Pro with a case on. There's another pocket here for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, another pocket down here for the Kindle. And here's the kicker. There's still tons of space in here for other devices or other things you just want to carry with you. I also don't got to hold its hand because it can stand on its own. It's got a soft pocket for me to store some valuables. And you also get this front compartment here to fill to your heart's desire. And not to mention this really cool two-tone orange and black look that you get with this X-Pack edition, which makes your entire bag much more durable and waterproof as well. Here's a comparison between my old backpack and the new. You can tell the world of a difference here. But overall, the slim profile and the amount of divided storage solutions makes this my favorite tech backpack to date. But I'll turn the question back to you. What do you guys think? Do you think my reasons make sense? And until then, this makes the cut for me. Next, I was on the hunt for a good aesthetic portable charger. Coincidentally, that same morning, I got an email from a company asking me to check out their products. And needless to say, I was uh, quite impressed. So now it's at the post office. Let's go pick it up and then we're gonna unbox it. My uncle just picked this up recently. My goodness, this thing looks mean. so much. Okay, so in the box we have, it's like a really old school iMac. It opens up and then I could like charge with it. 35 watt output on this too. That's that's really cool. Okay, and then we have, it's like having a keychain on you, but you can use different cables if you wanted to. And then we have, so basically it's like an alarm clock as well as a portable charger. Kind of cool. Now the next package that I have, oh yeah, this is the one. So this is what I was talking about when I saw on their website. Like it looks really clean. It's got like this like see-through design. Got like this like really cool yellow cable and it comes with this little carrying case. This might just be the coolest portable charger I've ever tried. And when you turn it on, you get this colored screen and you get all of this information, including temperature, battery information, and tons more stuff here. So I plugged in my iPad and you can see exactly how much power was being delivered to it. Super cool. Okay, so I think it's fair to say that Shark Geek has won a spot inside the bag. I just really love things that are a little bit different, a little bit unique, and I think they definitely hit it out of the park on this one. So Shark Geek, you're going in the bag. Okay, so next up, now I wanted a cable that would be not only long lasting, but it would be nice and neat when I wanted to put it away. I'm a bit OCD like that. After much deliberation, the cables that I ended up going with were the Nomad cables. Now these things are basically like super tough, like they're made of Kevlar, which I'm sorry to say is probably gonna last longer than you. And I could literally scale a tree with this thing. Help, I'm coming. I'm not gonna try, but you get the idea. And the best part is when it's all said and done, you could just go ahead and tie up the cables and they stay nice and neat like this. And for that reason, Nomad Kevlar cables, you're going in the bag. Okay, now about my devices. You guys are probably wondering why on earth Dosif are you carrying three different devices? Like, are they not somewhat redundant? These do very different tasks and they work with various different situations in my mind when I think about them. The MacBook, for example, is my workhorse. It's what I use for pretty much all my photo and video editing, my daily work, and of course, when I need to do some serious uninterrupted shopping. The iPad, on the other hand, it's my creative device. I use this for scripting my videos, just browsing and researching, sketching out thumbnails, and even just drawing slash designing things. And lastly, the Kindle Paperwhite. This is my dedicated reader. I find that 
that having an iPad as my reader is a bit too clunky and heavy, as well as the backlight can be irritating over time, the Kindle is perfect for this, and it actually looks like a book when you're reading it. Now, carrying around all three of these devices on a daily basis, as you can imagine, they do get banged up quite a bit, which brings me to the sponsor of today's video, Casetify. Now, Casetify makes some of the most high quality cases as well as prints. I was thoroughly impressed, like everything from the packaging that was delivered to me to the unboxing experience to the quality of detail. They also offer 360 degree all around protection for your device and screen. And the one I went with here for my MacBook is plain no print because I wanted that clean minimal look. The corners have this little shock protection. So if you drop your MacBook, ideally you're gonna hit that shock. Now I'm obviously not gonna test this out for you guys because I mean, I can't afford to. This thing is like seven grand. So <laughs> yeah. Another case that I got, which is the iPad Pro case. And honestly, this has become one of my most favorite like slim stand case for the iPad. Like this thing is so well made. The attention to detail again here with this case is just phenomenal. Like the back has this nice leather feeling material here, but you also have this see-through material here, which allows you to see the actual color of the iPad. And then you have this protective tab. You also have a spot here to place your Apple Pencil. It just goes right in. And, and of course you can also use it as a stand if you're viewing things. And the stand is quite sturdy as well. So if I'm writing on it or pressing down on it, it's not going anywhere. As for screen protectors, I traditionally didn't use them because I didn't like how they felt, but these Caseify ones, they feel like the like glass. And I have it here on my iPad and actually using the thing, I couldn't tell a difference between the screen protector and the actual screen, so that's great. Now on the MacBook, I like privacy screen protectors, but they have one major problem. I don't want them on all the time. I love the design that Caseify went with here, which basically uses magnets to kind of just stick to the screen. And when you're done using it, you can just literally peel it right off. Plus, not to mention it filters out blue light waves that protects your eyes from long screen hours and thus improving overall health. I have a link down below in the description so if you guys want to check it out please go ahead and do that. Okay, for the next product, I needed some items in order to help complement my work style. You see, my work style is very much in motion, so I needed a few items in order to help facilitate this particular work style, and that's where the first item, Moft Invisible Laptop Stand, comes in. This particular accessory sticks to the bottom of your laptop or case, and it's folded away when you don't really need it. But when you do, it uses this neat little origami trick to fold right up, and it's got two different heights, and it's quite sturdy. Because this thing is so inconspicuous and doesn't really take up much space, I think this goes in the backpack. Now next, we need a mouse. And I had to go with my usual, the Logitech Anywhere 3 mouse. It's my favorite choice for a small, convenient, portable, but well-made mouse. It feels really good to use in your hands with the silicone grips and the machine steel scroll wheel. You can't go wrong with this. Now an SSD is an absolute must have when you're traveling and you're doing professional work. I've gone through my fair share of SSDs and I really like a lot of these guys. Like I've used the Samsung T7. These are really nice because they're small, portable, and they're made with like this really nice aluminum casing. Another option I have is the Lassie SSD. Now this thing is really ruggedized and well-made. The whole thing is in this like rubber enclosure. Like my only gripe with this is it's a little bit heavy. And that's where my next SSD of choice now comes in, which is probably what I'm going to include in this setup, unless you guys disagree, of course. It's a SanDisk Extreme Pro V2. I got this in the four terabyte version. This is like double that speed. It's like 2000 megabytes read and write speed. And I get like four times the amount of storage than that. And it's lighter than the Lassie one. It's also ruggedized. It has like this rubber protection all around the sides and the back. It feels really good and it's nice and small. Well, there you go. We just had our first drop test. Because of all of those things, the SanDisk Extreme Pro, you're going in the back. Okay, next up, one of the first things that I like upgrading is the in the box charger for like iPads and laptops and stuff like that. Look, here's the issue. These things are pretty big. Like just look at this MacBook Pro charger that I have. And not only are they so big, they only have one port. Now what this means is you gotta carry multiple of these guys. So one for your laptop, one for your iPad, one for your phone, like, and then it just gets hectic. And then you just have like 50 chargers in your bag and like you can't even carry like your actual stuff. I picked up this guy here from Ugreen on Amazon. It's a GAN charger, which basically means that you can pack a lot more wattage into a smaller body and you get four different ports on here. And the kicker is it actually looks pretty good. I dig it. And for that reason, it's going in the bag. Next product, this is a little bit, I don't know, you guys let me know if I should keep this in the bag or not. And it's not always useful because sometimes I'm using the S23 Ultra or another like Android Pixel or something like that. And I'm not always using the iPhone, but the thing is when I am using the iPhone, 
I like to have the Apple MagSafe battery bank charged and ready to go, kind of like an, as an emergency fail safe inside the backpack. It just sticks to the back and it will charge up my iPhone without me having to have any cables like dangling around. Like, I mean, that that's an hazard, right? Like I could literally choke somebody accidentally. Like if I'm walking down the street with the cable, like it could happen. It has happened, pro probably. Because of the convenience factor, Apple MagSafe battery bank, you're going in the bag. Next up, I kind of cheated this one in because it doesn't really go inside your bag, but it's part of the fit. You know I love sneakers, so I had to find a way to cheat these into the video. I'm gonna include my absolute favorite, one of the sneakers I'm still obsessed with, and that has to be the Lost and Founds Air Jordan 1s. Mm, I can't, I can't. Like, things are just super clean. And because I absolutely love these things, Lost and Founds, you're going on the feet. I know what you're all thinking. Damn, you're flexible, homie. And last but not least, because look, you have so much expensive stuff and gear that you're carrying in your backpack. The last thing you want to happen is for you to lose it or for you not to be able to track it if you do lose it. And for that reason, I'm gonna throw in there a pair of air tags. Now, these things are pretty clutch. I absolutely love having these around. And therefore, for the sake of safety, air tags, you're going in the bag. Air tags, you're going in the bag. Oh, that was smooth. That was smooth. If you like this video, you're probably gonna like my day in the life with the Samsung S23 Ultra. I struggled going from an iPhone to an Android phone. So let me know what you guys think or this other video that YouTube's recommending you watch and I'll see, and I'll see you guys there.